Seven simple swimming rules that will save your life. Let's imagine you look through the holiday photos of your friend who has just returned from a sea vacation. What do you feel? Envy? No. Is it fear? Well, then you are in the same boat as celebrities such as Carmen Electra, Snoop Dogg, Sandra Bullock, Richard Branson. All of these people are afraid of water and it can become a big problem. If you just don't have much confidence in your swimming skills, our handy guide will help you finally feel like a fish in the water. You can do it, just make an effort. At the end of the video, you will find a small bonus that might save your life one day. Number 1. Overcoming Fear Fear is one of the biggest obstacles people have to overcome while learning to swim. You might be surprised to know that 60% of Americans are afraid of deep water and 45% are frightened of water over their heads. To deal with it and to prove to the world how brave you are, there is a simple technique. Breathe in sufficient air, take different poses and feel how the water itself lifts your body to the surface. But don't forget that the depth shouldn't be more than one or one and a half meters, one step at a time. Number 2. Learning to breathe while swimming Now you can't argue that the way you breathe is super important during swimming, can you? So the next logical thing is to learn to do it correctly. Breathe in through your mouth when you are above the water and breathe out through your nose or mouth when under the water. Try to develop a rhythm. One more exercise to practice is to hold your breath. You never know when it can come in handy. Number 3. Making friends with the water If you perceive the water as something hostile and dangerous, revise your attitude. Imagine it's your good friend. Tender, caring, funny. Lie back on the water surface, spread out your arms to your sides and relax. Feel how the water supports your weight and slowly moves you as if on big swings. Or you can try lying on your front with a pair of goggles firmly in place and watch the life going on below. It will help you to feel more confident in the water. This way, concentrating on the underwater world will switch your attention and you will relax. Number 4. Learning to use your legs if you have managed all these activities, let's get down to swimming itself. First of all, you need to learn to use your legs. This exercise is called the crawl. You need to stretch your arms and grab the side of the pool or a swimming board. If you are steady, move one leg up and down and then repeat it with the other. It will turn out better if you bend your legs only slightly, trying to stretch out your feet. You should move only your hips. One more exercise is called breaststroke. To perform it, you need to hold on to a swimming board with your hands. Then spread your legs outward and back in different directions, bending your knees and push, push forward. Don't get embarrassed if you feel you look like a frog. It's meant to be like that. Number five, learning to use your arms. Congratulations. If you can confidently and rhythmically use your legs, you have passed this level. Time to move to the next one. It will show you how to use your arms. Let's start with the crawl again. Start working your legs using the crawl method. At the same time, place your arms alongside your torso and begin to lift them over the water, making half circles in the air. Stretch back your head as much as possible. As your arms go under the water, they should draw half circles at the level of your body and then return to the starting position. Mind that your hands should be stretched out and you should paddle in sequence. Now turn to your front. Paddle using your arms one after the other. You should pass your arms under the water in half circular motions every time returning to the starting position. Breathe in when your arm rises into the air, turning your head in its direction. What you shouldn't forget is to coordinate the movements of your arms and legs. If you feel confident enough, you can practice breaststroke. How do you do it? When pushing forward with your legs, stretch your arms forward as if they were an arrow. 
Then spread your arms out simultaneously in a symmetrical half circular motion, bringing them together at your breastbone and then moving them back to the starting position. An important thing is, when you spread your arms out, lift your head above the water and draw in air. If you still don't cherish the feeling of your head underwater, it's possible to swim with your head always raised. Number 6. Treading Water Oh great! You feel like a professional now, but don't hurry to swim across the Bosporus. You still have things to learn. For example, to tread water vertically. To do this, you need to move your legs as with the breaststroke, dragging water under you. Spread your arms out to your sides and make circular motions with them. It will help you to float. Another variant is to tuck in your outstretched legs and imitate riding a bike, with your arms bent at the elbows and moving in circular motions away from your body. Number 7. Learning to swim underwater Now you can undoubtedly enjoy any holiday near the sea to the fullest, but there's still one thing that can make the experience even more interesting. It's swimming underwater. How to proceed to this next step? Push off the floor and dive under the water from where you are standing. Place your arms in front of you, forming an arrow shape. Then pull your chin down toward your chest, but don't touch it. Push forward slightly in the direction of some point in front of you. When in the water, you can use the arm movements from the breaststroke, pushing forward every time you stretch them out. You can use one leg at a time in sequence as you do with the breaststroke and crawl, or move like a dolphin in waves. If so, you will probably appreciate how flippers can help in this style of swimming. It's important, safety comes first. Well, you seem to be ready to go to the big water now, but don't forget that safety comes first. And if you think it's a good idea to swim after taking a glass of wine, you are wrong. Don't swim if you have consumed alcohol. If you feel pain, dizziness, cramps, get out of the water immediately. Don't follow others' example in jumping from a pier. It can be extremely dangerous. Swim only on well-maintained sandy beaches, in places without strong currents, where there are lifeguards and where the water is regularly checked. Finally, as a promised bonus, there is some information not everybody knows, but everybody has to. When you are swimming in the sea, there might be a danger of getting caught in a tide which will take you away from the coast. In a situation like this, it is crucial not to lose your head. Don't try to fight the tide. You will be left with no strength to get yourself to the shore. It will help much better if you start to control your breath, stop panicking, and try to approach the coast swimming first parallel to it, and then little by little coming closer in a motion diagonal to the tide. Well, that's it. Let all your swims be safe and enjoy the water. Don't forget to hit the like button below the video and click subscribe to join us on the bright side. We have a lot of helpful and interesting videos for you.